Here we are. Good afternoon, and I'd like to thank the Academy for your kind invitation to join you. I'm a little hot there, aren't I? Uh, I am uh, coming from Southern California, and the first thing I'm going to tell you uh, by way of disclosure is aside from the fact that I sadly have no financial relationships to report, is that I'm not a dentist. Um, and so if I say anything stupid, please just ignore it and let me prattle on here. I'm going to tell you about how a ENT doctor and probably physicians in general view what you do. And I'd like to talk about how we can work together both to close that knowledge gap in my specialty and also to find ways to uh, enhance both of our practices. Um, when I first started my residency program in, in ear, nose, and throat, uh, we heard rumors across campus at Loma Linda that the dentists were doing sinus surgery. And this seemed about the worst idea we had ever heard because we had no idea what type of sinus surgery that y'all were doing. And sure enough, when I got to my fellowship at uh, Stanford, I had my first encounter with a post-implant patient. Um, this fellow has been living in his car. He wore the same shirt uh, to every visit. And he had, been, had, a, he had had surgery without any preoperative imaging. And unfortunately, his surgeon operated on a sinus that was already completely full of fungus. So. This, the, the relationship did not go well. Somehow, both the patient and his dentist got my cell phone number. And over a course of about two weeks, they would call me relentlessly trying to, to get this relationship worked out to the place where they were you know, meeting at midnight in the McDonald's parking lot to exchange a paper bag full of money. And I eventually divorced them both. And I thought to myself, this is great. I'm going back to Loma Linda. I'm going to have a ready-made practice full of sinus problems created by these dentists on the dental school side. And so I went back, and I called them. And I said, guys, I'm here. I've got your back. You guys just start sending those sinusitis cases right over. And nothing happened. And after a few months, I called them again. I said, just want to remind you, you know, I know you're having a lot of you know, sinus complications there. Uh, you just send those to me, and I'll take care of those. And they said, yes, Dr. Church, we know you're there. Thank you so much. And still nothing. So after a while, I went down there, and I said, hey, what are you guys doing? How come?" The... And since that time, I have actually kind of come on board with you. So I actually uh, am a big fan of, of what you're doing, and I, I highly recommend it to my patients. But I still think you know, 15 years later, there's still a bit of a knowledge gap between our, my specialty and medicine in general and what you do. So let's, let's talk a little bit about what we see as uh, what you're getting into in terms of the, uh, the embryology, anatomy, physiology, and diseases of the maxillary sinus, and we'll incorporate with that ways that you and I can work together to get better outcomes for our patients. 